Hey everyone, Sophia here from My Great Challenge. Welcome back to the dungeon where lighting is absolutely heinous until I will fix the lighting in this room. So we're back in the laundry room. If you remember, I am doing a makeover here. It's just to make the room less ugly. I'm not doing any kind of renovation or anything like this. I'm just basically sprucing it up. So today I'm going to keep it real short because all I'm doing is installing a shelf and figuring out whether or not I can find the appropriate cover for the uh, um, heating system that's in here. So let's start with the shelf. And this is the wall where the shelf is going to go because right now I have all those uh, clothes here hanging and then I have another um, rack right here. So let me show you from far away. So it looks really, really bad, doesn't it? Okay, so yeah, it's a utility room. So I have my machines here. And what I wanna do is not have clothes hanging from pipes or other contraptions that I've put together like this thing here, um, if you can see. I wanna get rid of those. And instead I'm gonna put a shelf here that's like one of those uh, closet shelf. And I got one today at the Home Depot. There was one that was six feet, but I was afraid it was gonna to be too long. And I also don't wanna have so much room that we're gonna be leaving clothes here all week long or for a month, all right? So I got one that is uh, four feet long. So the first thing I need to do here is figure out how I'm going to install this. If I wanna do it through the sheetrock with special anchors, or if I wanna do it um, into the um, boards the beams, whatever you call them. Uh, the name escapes me right now. Studs, there we go. So this is by Closet Made, and I found it at the Home Depot. This shelf was $25, and then for four feet, and then you get, um, you can get a six foot one for 29 something, and then I think they had a shorter one. So the six foot one comes with two of those brackets that go into the wall, right, and attach to the front. So what it does is that it um, spreads the weight of the shelf and whatever it's contained is. So it's attached here and then it's here. So as this pulls forward or down, this basically pulls the other way around. So it kind of does one of those um, balance work in order for your shelf to not fall. I don't know if that makes sense. Hopefully there's instruction. Otherwise I'm gonna have to either go on YouTube or figure it out myself. Please let it be instructions. Yes! All right, so let me read this. No, I don't want to sew it off. Yes, I'll put that in. Hey guys, apparently it's super easy to do this. Um, what you do is that you figure out where you want your shelf. Hopefully it is leveled, looking at it. Why do I have a feeling the shelf is not straight, but curved? Does it look curved to you? Because it does look curved to me. That is just bizarre. All right, do I want it higher? I think I'm gonna put it here, all right. So, what you do, yeah, it's tricked. Okay, so you draw a line. Preferably with a pencil that has the uh, graphite on it. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, so it is not as complicated as I thought it would be. Um, first thing you need to do is mark where you're going to have um, your shelf. All right? And of course, this one apparently doesn't matter if you are on a uh, stud or if you go into the sheetrock because it has a special type of anchor. Uh, you want to make sure it is leveled and I am now bizarre, it doesn't look level to me but okay, leveled. Let's try this way. Yeah, huh, imagine that. Oh, uh, well, not anymore. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's try to not move it. And what you do basically is draw a line. Ah, I moved. 
I moved. Well, you want your shelf, okay? Let me make sure I'm level on this. Yep. Yeah? Scott is making uh, hamburgers upstairs. That's the noise you're hearing. All right, I'm level. All right. So, the next thing you do is that you measure two inches from the end here. So that's two inches. And that's two inches. And what you want to do is start spreading where the anchors are going to be. And they give you a specific um, length as to where you're putting your anchors. And these are the anchors. So this goes inside the wall. And the uh, wire shelf basically gets clicked into this little groove right here. And they want them every 11 inch yeah they want one every 11 inch so the first one is at two so we're going to put it here and i don't want the shelf to be too low by the way um so the next one is going to be at 11 inch so let's see how many i'm going to be able to put so here's the next one goes here the next one goes here right and then the next one goes here and then the last one goes here um, which is a two inch okay so I'll have one two three four five of them okay well YouTube we got a problem I can't find the key to um, unlock the drill so what I did is I just punched a hole and let's see if the punching of a hole is going to be enough to do this mm. I need a bigger hole okay so put that in here It works okay so I don't need a drill for this um, it's not a pain in the butt I don't know where it is we looked all over the place and um, fairly organized when it comes to tools they're all in one room but for some reason you know the key that um, turns and allows you to tighten and loosen the uh, drill we don't know where it is so when you're in a pinch and you don't have a drill use a screwdriver sheet rock okay obviously it's not gonna work on wood all right and Punch a hole like that, right? Make it a little bit bigger. Enough for one of those um, anchors to go in. Now, these are the butterfly anchors. When you put them in and you put that uh, big nail in it, they just basically open up and they cannot pull out. So it's giving you the resistance you need in order for your shelf to stay against the wall. And it's a good thing I'm not on any stud here. <laughs> All right, so again, you take your screwdriver, you enlarge your hole, right? You get your little anchor thing, you put your nail in. I just got two more after that. Ah, come on. There we go. So, let's put that up, and basically what you do is that you insert it inside that little elbow thing. Um, here's one, there's two, and three, come on. Okay. 
All right. So basically the shelf goes like this. And we're gonna do this. And I am leveled. So the last thing you need to do, uh, no more than 36 inch apart. So we're gonna pick here and just about here, like on either side here. All right, you gotta put this one and attach it here. It's gotta go, there we go, like that. I'm hoping you see what I'm doing. Uh, this one right here, right? You grab one of the um, bars that goes perpendicular to you and you push this down like this. So it goes onto the top here and because it's got a groove, the bar here that goes all the way to the back is between is between those two grooves so and it holds it proper so what you want to do now I'm sorry about the shadow is basically mark right here where you're going to put your anchor right so this is done um, it looks solid to me but you never know because you know it's another one of Sophia's jobs I'm sorry about the lighting you guys you know we're in a dungeon right so okay so these here um, you gotta put them this way uh, so, hold on, there we go. So one goes here, right? And the other one goes here, right? I don't even know if you can see me. You know, I still have to fix the uh, focus on this camera. Since last week, okay, one here and one here. All right, so technically, now I can hang stuff. So let's hang stuff. So you're probably wondering, well, what do you hang clothes here? Well, some of the stuff that we have needs to um, dry, air dry, okay? So we put it here, and then when we fold clothes, Downstairs, what happens a lot is that um, a good majority of the clothes that we have, like kids' stuff that gets hung, well, we gotta hang it, we can't fold it and put it in the basket, so we hang it here. And then when we bring the laundry upstairs, um, you know, we grab whatever the clothes are. And then when we bring the baskets downstairs, we bring the baskets with the hangers. So, um, technically, there should be not a lot of extra hangers in this house. So if I have a lot of hangers like this in the um, room, that tells me that clothes were brought upstairs that should be folded and were not, or we just have way too many hangers. So I'm just gonna put this stuff here because my goal right now is to remove the two uh, rods that I have on the walls here. And that would be it for hanging clothes. I'm not hanging clothes anywhere else in this laundry, but on this. Okay, and the shelf looks solid, so I didn't put it too high or too low. I think it's just enough to put um, stuff like a shoe shine kit. I can put it here, my S bag. I have to change it actually. And then, you know, little things that are related to the laundry will go here. Um, all right, let me finish that and then I'll remove the stuff that's on the ceiling. Right, so all the stuff that was um, hanging from the ceiling, I'm trying to not blind you, is gone. All right, so yeah, here's my ceiling. Now, I bought this today, and this is the short one, and it was $27. Um, this is technically a baseboard cover. Okay, so it's just a plastic thing. And you see how my um, heater here, has those brackets so they obviously was at some point a cover for it but when they installed this pipe I'm going to show you on the other end um, the pipe basically almost touches right here so they had to obviously remove this so I bought this one and it fits just right on I just got to um, you know glue it or whatever um, so it looks a little bit better. I don't have um, 
See, on one side I have this. This is the side I didn't do yet. Or I would have this. So obviously I'm going to go with that. Um, it's not the greatest look, but again, you guys, dungeon. All right, so my shelf is done. And all the clothes that I need to hang for now here. Um, eventually, most of the time, that shelf is going to be empty. There will be nothing hanging. But when something needs to be hung, it will go there and nowhere else. So that's the progress I've made today. And I'm not doing anything else. I'm done. Really, I'm done for today. Right, so this was probably the worst video of the whole series. I have no idea if I am in focus, if I ever was in focus. I look in focus right now. I don't know why, but it looks like the light was actually better last week. Um, I didn't change the bulb, so I don't know. Um, bottom line is, yeah, I have this that looks more like a laundry room. Um, having clothes hanging is ugly looking, I get that. And again, you know, I mean, there's not much I can do with this room. So that's what I wanted. It makes sense rather than having things hanging from the ceiling and we constantly have clothes, um, you know, above the machine and all of that. It clears up this space that I'm looking at right now. This space right here. And it is absolutely heinous. So next week I am working on this area here. And yeah, the trash, all of that. And this whole area. So I'm going to paint that and spruce it up. And then the week after that I'll work on um, the other side of the room. You know, in about six weeks, I think I'll be done with this laundry room. Um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, I came up with a couple of more ideas. I'll share them when we get to it because um, there's no point of telling you now. Um, the whole idea of oh, the shadow, um, the whole idea of doing a um, curtain in the back, I have to scrape because um, this is the heater. So yeah, that's that. But what I'm probably going to do is repair the window and then I'm going to try to go into the crawl space because I have one crack underneath the foundation that I can see from the outside that I need to fix. So I'll have to put the hazmat suit and <laughs> go all the way down there. Um, unless I send Willie, but you know, neither here nor there to fix that crack. And then I'm going to fix the window and I'll probably do an insulated box to go over it. So you won't even see that there's a window, uh, but something you can remove. And then I'm thinking about framing. Um, and one of you mentioned that I'm thinking about framing the windows there, um, you know, with just like miter wood all around it, just a wood frame and paint it so it looks less ugly. So yeah, it's the little stuff. Um, I don't know ultimately in the end what this laundry room is gonna look like. I'm hoping it looks 100% better. It's definitely not gonna look um, like a room you wanna spend time in, but it's the laundry, okay? Give me a big thumbs up. I'm sorry if the video was kind of like meh today. Um, not finding the key for the drill really bothered me and it bothered me that I had to punch holes because it specifically says on the instruction do not punch holes but I went ahead and I punched holes anyway and you know what the shelf looks like it's pretty solid it's not moving so yeah that's where we at thumbs up subscribe right here in the corner I'll see you in the next episode episode four uh, for more painting thanks for watching you guys bye